Are you looking for language learning apps with structure to tell you exactly what to learn, how to learn it, and how well you're learning it? What if I were to tell you that the language learning apps that you're looking for aren't actually gonna solve your problem? In this video, I'm gonna talk about why exactly you're looking for that structure, a couple of language learning apps that will give you that structure that you're looking for, but why they might not work for you and what you should do instead. If you're new here, hi, my name is Jamie. I am a language coach and I help independent language learners understand exactly what they want to do with their language learning and how to achieve it. So if you want more content like this, remember to subscribe and hit the bell to be notified when I post a new video. Why do language learners look for highly structured language apps? And what exactly do I mean by structure? Generally, most people's first experiences with languages are in school when they have to learn a language in order to get a grade and graduate, right? And in order to accomplish that, teachers have a set curriculum that they have to teach, set grades that they have to help their students get, a textbook they have to work from, and all that kind of stuff. Language teachers are basically told exactly what they need to teach their students whether or not it's actually effective for any particular goal is a whole other topic, but language teachers, at least in public schools, they don't have any control over what they're teaching and how they're teaching it. So as a student, you have a textbook that you're given, you're told exactly what lessons to do, you're told exactly how to do them, and then you're given a grade to tell you exactly how well you accomplish that specific exercise. A lot of people enjoy that because they know exactly what they're meant to accomplish, how to accomplish, and whether or not they accomplish that. It gives us a lot of strong expectations and gives us something to work with. Outside the school setting, when language learners go to learn a language, they realize that it's not as clear cut as they wanted it to be and they're looking for that structure to feel like they're actually accomplishing something. That's basically how they've learned to learn somebody else set the standards for them and they have to accomplish that standard. Like I said, in public schools, generally speaking, even teachers don't have any control over what they're teaching their students. And that makes a lot of language teachers really unhappy in their jobs because they realize that what they're teaching isn't actually effective for enjoyable language learning and conversational language learning, but they don't have any power over that. So whether or not you get an effective language education for your particular goals is not within the power of the teacher in a public school. It's the same thing with language learning apps with structure. Yes, they are heavily structured, but for what? For what intention? So let's talk about two language learning resources that have this really heavy handholding and structure, and I really like, but they might not give you the language education that you are looking for. Does this sound like you so far? Let me know in the comments below. The first resource that I recommend language learners looking for structure is Rocket Languages. Now, of course, as always, I have a whole review of Rocket Languages on my website, link below in the description for that if you want more information on it. But Rocket Languages is really really excellent at bringing you from total beginner to actually genuinely really advanced. I'm actually really surprised by it. Rocket Languages is really excellent at hitting all of the language skills except for grammar. Their approach is that you don't really need a strong handle on grammar necessarily in order to communicate effectively, which is true. So that right there, if you want to learn grammar, then Rocket Languages is not for you. Basically, Rocket Languages takes conversations that you're probably gonna have in the language, so it's really great for real life experiences. But some might think that it's not very engaging. It's talking to a computer. There's no person on the other side. There's no connection like that. So if you need that sort of connection, then you're gonna be really bored by Rocket Languages. On the topic of being engaging or not, it was really engaging technology for like 10 years ago, but now in the age of video, it's kind of outdated. You know, you just have audio clips and you have speech recognition, which is fine. But in this day and age, at least at the time of this recording, there's no video, which is really, really huge on the internet and can really help to narrow the gap between something as accessible as an online language learning resource and like engaging connection to keep you motivated. Fortunately though, if you buy Rocket Languages, you get lifetime updates. So in the future, if they end up adding video to the course, then you'll get that if you buy. And the second resource that is very, very highly structured is the Pod 101 series. The Pod 101 series is really aptly named because the whole thing is based on podcast episodes. All the podcast episodes are free to access 
it's all the other learning material that you have to pay monthly for. But if you want that structure, you gotta pay. As a personal observation, I find the Pod 101 series to be really annoying just because they really aggressively plug and advertise and market their paid stuff, which I get it. And also, even though the, the entire Pod 101 series is freely available to anybody, they have a really long intro at the beginning of every episode, which you can just skip, but it's really annoying for me. But if you do pay in order to get that structure, Pod 101 series can be really great. If you really enjoy podcasts, it can be a really motivating way to learn the language. But very limiting speaking practice, like none. So while Rocket Languages has everything except grammar, the Pod 101 series has everything but speaking. Now, one of the features of the paid Pod 101 series is that if you pay the highest tier, you can get a one-on-one -on -one personal tutor, which is really, really cool, makes it very highly structured and responsive to your needs. Basically, instead of meeting with a tutor like twice a week or whatever it is, you submit your exercises to the tutor. And within like 24 hours, I believe, might be wrong, the tutor responds with feedback and things like that. So it can be really, really strongly led if it's something that's engaging to you and if speaking isn't a very high priority to you. But I really hate how misleading the prices are. I hate that. I go in depth again in my review. That makes me feel gross personally, but you know. Now with all that being said, as you can see that depending on your goals, while both Rocket Languages and the Pod 101 series can be really highly structured and can be really genuinely effective for getting up into higher levels of the language from ultimate beginner, that doesn't mean that either of them will be engaging for you, enjoyable for you, or that they will lead you to your specific goals. Now that circles back to what we know now about schools, how we learn languages in school, right? As I mentioned, schools teach us exactly what to learn, how to learn it, and how well we're learning it. While these two resources do exactly that, that doesn't necessarily mean that it's gonna be enjoyable and that you're gonna get the results you're looking for. The thing with independent language learning is that that has to be a priority. If you're looking just for structure and you're jumping right into these highly structured language resources, then you might feel like you wasted a lot of money and that you're still nowhere and you're still frustrated, you're still overwhelmed. This is exactly why I help my clients to understand their needs, their desires, what they want, what they don't want, what they're interested in, all sorts of things like that. If you want to learn more about this approach and how I teach language learners how to define their goals and find resources online that will actually genuinely benefit them and genuinely make them want to learn the language, click the link below in the description for my free training where I go really in depth, lesson by lesson, day by day, need by need, exactly how I teach my clients just that. And if you wanna learn more about my personal approach to language learning, as well as the approach that I teach my clients, watch this video next. It goes really in depth with real precise examples of how exactly I do that. Otherwise, have a wonderful day and I will see you next time.